for me, it's like I just want to beat my last year. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. What'd you make? What'd you make last year? Out of buck fifty. Okay, so maybe this year you double that, or maybe you hit 250, or maybe you hit 210, or maybe you hit 400, or maybe you hit 600. I don't know, <laughs> and neither do you. The thing is, is you put forth the maximum amount of effort. The thing is, is for me, it's like I just want to beat my last year. If I can beat my last year and just do better and better every year, and so that's where we only have 24 hours in every day, and so with only 24 hours you know, in each day, and everybody has the same amount of hours, you get to where you're putting forth as many hours as you can, so then it becomes a factor of, okay, how can we adapt and become more efficient? You know, how can we, as we go along, see these little openings of things that we can do to produce more in less time, but at the same time, still putting in the same amount of hours, so that means, because a lot of people say work hard, work smart, not hard, and they want to produce the same in less time, but what I want to do is produce a lot more in the, in the, in the same time that I'm working. You know what I mean? Like, or, or people say they want to produce more in less time, and I want to produce more in the same time. I don't want to, I don't want to decrease the hours I'm working, I just want to, maximize my efficiency where you know I'm producing more I mean I'm gonna work every single second of every day you know what I'm saying like that's right. that's I mean and I don't care what anybody says or whatever that's kind of where that is so let's get into some nuts and bolts now that's that should I hopefully be an eye-opener like and say okay aha it doesn't matter if we do 350 this year we're gonna do as good as good as we can we'll do our best and maybe we hit that 500 next year. You know what I mean? Because for me, the million dollars, you know, 2014, I hit 600, 15, 600, 16 was 750, and then 17 was a million. So 14, you know, I hit 600 and wanted it the next year, but then it still took me two more years to actually get there. But I was more tied to like the process instead of the results. There's a place in life, bro, where you're satisfied with where you are, but still extremely hungry. And a lot of people, and that's a gray area, because most people are either really happy and lazy and underproduce, or most people are overachievers, but they're always unhappy because they're always moving that carrot further and further. See, the mindset you have right now, if you keep this mindset, when you get to a half a million, now you're still gonna be unhappy because you're not to a million yet. And then when you get to the million, you're not gonna be happy because you're, you're not to the million and a half yet. And so there's this gray area where you're happy with making the 150 because you know you're giving it all you got, but you know that you're doing what you need to do to get to 500. You don't know when it's gonna be, but you know that you're moving in that direction. In life, you're either going up or down. There's no maintaining. And so as long as you're moving in a positive direction, you know, base your happiness around your, your, your the direction that your life is going. You know what I mean? Not where you are in life, but the direction that you're going in. So just, right. just like try to enjoy this part where you're making 150, knowing that you're gonna get to a half a million, that these days aren't gonna last very long. You're gonna look back on these days and say, man, I wish we would enjoy that more. You know, those were the days. When we're make, remember when we we're making 150, dude, yeah. You know, that that's gonna be, what you're gonna say in five years when you're doing a million dollars a year, you're gonna say, man, that was fun getting here. Now, let's maintain this million, you know? Okay, beautiful. Um, well, the thing is, right now, we're, 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 we're dialing out a lot. I just wanted to know how much do you dial and who are you calling specifically? I think, and you have a team there, so, you know, you may have someone who just dials eight hours a day. You know, I, I don't know how you guys are structured, but I'm just a single agent, so I can only speak on a sing single agent status. And for me, it's three hours, three days a week minimum. So that's nine hours a week minimum. I'm not worried about how many dials I get. I'm not worried about the results of the call sessions. I just wanna put three hours in three days a week. You know, I just wanna stay on that phone for three hours, three days a week, and I still do that today. In my business today, I have, I will never get to the end of my past client list. You know, I just will never get there. I, if the market crashes and the market really slows down and, you know, things, you know, then maybe I will get to the end of it and then be able to move in to some more cold calling, but I've made 100,000 cold calls in my career and I have such a huge business in place. So many past thousands and thousands of past clients and people that I know that you know I need to follow up with, I just will never get to everybody. So my three hours every three hours, three days a week consist of me just trying to get through that list and touch everybody and talk to them and see what I can do to help them and stuff like that.